couple years ago, I managed to find a rock with the bottom of the boat. Finally getting around to repair it. I was just looking at my Facebook memories. I have had this boat for just over six years, and it's been amazing to me. A couple hiccups along the way, but you know what boat stands for, right? All right, so some of you may know this, some of you may not. Uh, my big job in uh, my college days was working at a fishing shop. And I used to do a lot of musky fishing down there. As I started progressing further in my YouTube career, I kind of started falling off from musky fishing or just not going quite as much. And this summer I'm proud to announce that I kind of found the love for it again. Been taking some time and getting out in the evenings here with some friends and family, going on some trips to Canada. It's been a lot of fun. Where's my rope? When I was 18 and saved up enough pennies, I bought myself this vintage ranger here and it, last year i was fortunate enough to be able to repower it i love this thing we're gonna take camping tonight and fishing make sure your plug's in I'm all right, man. Thank you, though. I'm going musky fishing. Yeah. So on the menu tonight for me is not walleyes. It is a baked beans Canadian MRE from 2017. That's probably expired by now, but let's get out on the lake. The lake that I'm on is really cool because there's a lot of public campsites that you can only access by boat. So tonight we're going to be camping on the water in the boat, having ourselves a Canadian MRE. I'm trying to catch a muskie. So they call muskies the fish of 10,000 casts because they're a tough fish to catch. It's not super hard to believe when you're throwing big baits like this. This is called a bucktail. It's got two little spinning blades in the front of it. You can see they kind of open up and spin like that. That attracts fish. Because I am fishing alone today, I need to make sure I'm ready for when one bites. So I'm gonna move all of this rigmarole going on here. What I'm doing by the side of the boat right now when I do that turn is called a figure eight. A lot of times these fish follow in and they'll eat right by the boat because they're curious or unsure of what they're about to put in their mouth. So I'm gonna be doing that probably a couple hundred times today. It'd be pretty cool if I got one on camera that eats in the figure eight, we'll see. I'm just happy if I see one. This lake has a lot of public campsites on it, but I've never actually camped here, so I feel like I should go and at least check some of them out just to see where I'm going to be able to stay tonight because the sun's going down sooner and later, and I don't want to be left without a place to sleep. I mean, worst case scenario, I could anchor down and just camp on the front, but it would help me out if I, if I knew where I was sleeping tonight. Yeah, hey, I gotta fish one more spot before I go.
I caught a 44 incher off of this piece last week. So let's see if we can do it again. It'd be pretty cool. Come on. Well, definitely gonna have to get my feet wet if I stay here, but I there's a little fire pit and some firewood. I mean, this is really nice. Let's go see what the other one looks like. Pretty amazing that I just repaired the bottom of my boat and I'm doing this crap. <laughs> All right, let's see what we're working with here. Looks a little deeper on the map, so. Fingers crossed. Yeah, this is the one right here. Look at this. Great campsite. Even got our own rope swing. I don't think I'm gonna do any swimming, but. So you got a good spot right here for the tent. A little fire pit, some firewood. This could work pretty good. Oh. Could also totally just sleep on the deck of the boat, but why? Why? It's a nice piece of land there. There we go. A little bivy tent. Well, hopefully it doesn't rain. The bugs aren't too bad. I'd totally like to sleep just under the stars. If it's nice enough out, dude, I might just sleep right here, honestly. Sounds, sounds pretty cool. Weather and bugs permit. This is where I'll be sleeping tonight. All right, I'm starting to get kind of chilled out. And I'm getting kind of hungry. All right, so for a little while now, I feel like I've been kind of a an MRE connoisseur. Um, and this is a cool one to have. This is a Canadian ration. It's a breakfast ration, I believe. Uh, they're baked beans and it's from 2017. Um, I gotta give a huge shout out to Paul, Paul Boykema. That's, I think I'm saying that right, because he sent me this. And these things are um, in invaluable. It's a pretty cool one to have. So I thought I'd, uh, open this one up and try it here on the channel. MREs are fun. I mean, these are honestly like really nice boat snacks. I love them uh, for when I'm out fishing and uh, looking for something to eat in the afternoon because they often come with like their own heat packs and stuff. Um, and I've never had a Canadian ration, so this will be my first time. It comes in a pretty interesting packaging, uh, like a brown paper bag. It's sealed at the top and folded. Unlike MREs that I'm used to seeing in the States. And you can, can like them on Facebook if you want to scan that QR code. This is not for resale and it's a military ration. And I believe that's the, I think that's the, actually the meal number. I don't actually know if this is from 2017. I know that this, um, this actually, now that I think of it might be the meal number and it might not be from 2017. I know that this was active in 2011. So this might be even older than I think it is. Maybe there's some info inside of here. I'm gonna try to be as careful as I can opening this thing because I don't wanna like, I don't really wanna wreck the paper. Might have to though. There we go. Ooh, this is cool. Okay. You open it up and right on the top, you've got some instant coffee. 
it was a little bit too late for me to be jamming with some coffee, but that is checking out with the, that. This is a breakfast MRE. Here, I'm going to take everything out. How about that? Whoa, what's that? Tic Tacs? Sick one. So apparently I have a fruit cocktail for dessert inside of this cardboard box. Here's the baked beans featuring some maple syrup and some molasses and cornstarch. We've got ourselves some peanut butter, some raspberry jam, a flattened plain hamburger bun, a little baggie to mix drinks in, and honestly, an insane amount of drinks. We have two sports drinks, a vanilla drink mix, and of course our instant coffee. Came with a book of matches, a napkin, very nice napkin actually, and a spork. I believe that's everything. Yeah, it's everything. This is the first MRE that I've opened in a while that doesn't have its own heat uh, heat pack. I wonder if it's inside this cardboard box. Nope, it's cold. Place unopened pouch in a pan of boiling water. I don't have a pan of boiling water or any means to boil water. <laughs> I have a fire and uh, throw this on the fire. I think we're gonna be eating it cold today. Okay, so here, look on the back. So the ending two decimals on this, it says EST 211. I wonder if that means 2011. I don't know, but anyway, there's the beans. I am. Going to mix up a little, a little vanilla drink. I think this is just like a protein shake. Let's give it a go. Everything's got the Canadian flag on it. Oh yeah, that's like a, it's a vanilla whey shake, vanilla protein. Okay, this is easy. I just got water. All right, vanilla drink. Kind of suspect, but let's see how it tastes. The texture's gnarly. It's pretty good though. Whoa. It just tastes like a vanilla whey protein. Watered down because I put too much water in it. Give that a four, four out of 10. All right, while we're on the drink kick, a little sports drink. Huh? What do you think? This is, just says ice sports drink. The flavor or anything, I wonder if ice is the flavor. Kind of smells like blue Gatorade. It is blue Gatorade. Look at it. Wow. There you go. Now you got a package of Gatorade. This looks like a little IV bag. People that are in the military, do you actually like drink out of these bags or do you just put it in a water bottle? Because I'm not having the easiest time drinking out of these things. It's a little different than a blue Gatorade, but it's kind of busting. I see why they give you two. Maple and brown sugar oatmeal. Add hot or cold water to taste. Well, we only got one option for water here. That's cold. Maple and brown sugar oatmeal from Canada. Okay, that's, that's nice. It kind of has the same consistency as like one of those power bite balls. The maple sugar is like not 
it's not super overpowering like it is in a lot of other oatmeals that I've tried, like Quaker. It's bomb. The Canadian military should just start selling oatmeal. That'd be cool. All right, so now I have I have peanut butter and raspberry jam. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with those other than put them on my hamburger bun, but then what do I do with my beans? I'm just supposed to slurp these down? I gotta see what this thing's doing. Hamburger bun. What in the heck? I mean, sure. I could play hockey with this. I don't know about that. That's crazy. Possible expired hamburger bun. All right, we're going for the beans too. See anything sketchy in there? Just looks like some beans to me. Now I know this is this is probably for this for the beans. All right, cold Baxter's beans from Canada. And just to say, canned beans in a pouch. Imagine that. Add some sauce in there. Some hot sauce. Mm. No, I don't mind that at all. Just like a can of beans. I was honestly kind of nervous for this one because I was like, I knew it was an older MRE and baked beans sounds like a recipe for disaster, but I guess we'll find out later. I mean, as far as beans go, those are pretty freaking good, man. I give that like a like a six out of ten right now. It'd be nicer if they were warm. Okay, the vanilla shake bean combo is a little weird. Mm, not, not about that. All right, so it's kind of making a little more sense to me. It's like, what could I do with peanut butter and jam? Well, well, friends, I could make a peanut butter and jelly hockey puck sandwich. So that's what we're gonna do. Take them and you smush them. You move them around. Oh yeah. That bread's a little busted up. I'm really nervous for the fruity cocktail, but it's probably fine, it's probably great. No more beans. I was like, look at how long this freaking spork is. It's the biggest dang spork I've ever seen. Look at that thing. Well, I'm gonna eat this in a second. I should probably eat it now, eh? Oh, did you hear that? Did you? This is turning me Canadian. I should probably eat it now, eh? What they put in this stuff? This is all part of the master plan. All right, what's it gonna look like? Oh, oh! I'm probably could have told you that. Um, place in boiling water for a fruit cocktail? The oh, it's just like a freaking fruit cup, dude. Why would you put that in boiling water? That sounds you sound sick. I don't like that. I never really was a fan of those fruit cocktails, though. So this one is just not good. I think it's a no from me, dog. Okay, it's 9.34. I gotta drop this stuff off back at camp. And I'm gonna get back out fishing. I'm gonna head back to camp. All right, then it's time to go to bed. In my little coffin tent, my one-man bivy. Oh. Good morning. All right. 
Successful night camping. If you like videos like this, I think uh, I have some other boat ideas coming up. Maybe going to Canada, maybe going on Lake Superior, but as always, until next time, you already know the drill, just keep on trucking.